Hey YouTube, how y'all doing? Got my pure sign. These are all going into my travel trailer, a Jayco J Flight 212 QBW. Hang tight, let me unbox it. As much as I want to connect this right away, I need to run some wires first. This thing right here to go to my um, automatic transfer switch. From here to under the couch. Oh man, my tools. All right, let me clear it up. Let's run the wires. Right there. All right, let's pull it. Excellent. Let's go outside. Right. Came out right there. Take a look. Go on the other side, fish it out. There it is. Beautiful. The cables pulled in. Let me go ahead and uh, connect it to my ATS. Don't forget to uh, watch that video. So that's the automatic transfer switch. So that's the goal, right? This end connects to my uh, pure sign inverter. This end right here connects to my ATS, um, also known as automatic transfer switch. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this for the time being. Um, right here, white for neutral, and of course green just right there remove that as well and the uh, 30 amps going in it's this one right here the black one let me go ahead and take everything off and that will make it easy for me to wire my ATS hang tight all right pulling my automatic transfer switch now I temporarily took this off so I could uh, maneuver uh, so I could show it on a video typically I would mount this onto the wall first before wiring But of course, it's going to be a tight squeeze in there and I can't show it to you this wire set of wires will be going uh, Hot black wire right here on the left hand side Neutral and ground to the bus bar Here it is good to go Let's go ahead and feed it Take a look Let's cut this to uh, length. Beautiful. Good to go. Take a look at that. Nice and neat. All hot right here. All neutral on the uh, right hand side. And of course your uh, ground on the bus bar. Let's go ahead and mount it inside onto the wall. Seal this up. Here it is. All tucked in. Hot is black. 
Green is uh, the ground, white is neutral. There's my ATS, the automatic transfer switch, already mounted, good to go. Let's push this in. Time to put everything together, right? This is the uh, pure sign inverter. I got my uh, one aught uh, cables. Okay, take a look. This is too exposed right here. I'll probably wrap it with uh, electrical tape, right? And um, you guys know that this is from my um, my ATS, right? It's already wired. Oh. Red goes to black, which is your load. Uh, or hot green goes to yellow which is your ground and again white is your uh, neutral let me go ahead and connect it hang tight good to go again black goes to red that's your load green goes to yellow which is your ground and black is your neutral. I'll probably put an electrical tape matching the red, yellow, and black so I know exactly just in case I need to uh, dismantle it. Pure sign fully installed, ready to go, ready to be powered on. But before I do that, I want to show you that I moved things around. Made a move for my controller, pushed it to the left to make room for the uh, battery cutoff and a uh, 30 amp uh, breaker for my solar panels. And during install, a couple more batteries came in, um, AGM from v VMAX tanks. And now I have a total of 140 amp hours. Let's go ahead and power up this pure sign inverter. Here we go. Let me reset it. Bam. Turn it on. Boom. Good to go. Let's go ahead and uh, turn everything on. Energize the travel trailer. This is actually for my converter. I still have a battery bank in front of this travel trailer. The lead acid, right? So here we go. Excellent. Travel trailer is fully energized. All of the outlets now have juice in them. Right? Everything's a go. Take a look at that. That's pretty. Let's do a couple of testings. But other than that, we are set. My solar panel power system, solar power system is good to go. First thing I want to do, power on the refrigerator. That's the AC indicator right there. This travel trailer is not connected to any uh, AC or shore power. And this is definitely running off my uh, battery bank with a pure sign inverter. Take a look. Let me... There it is. Sun is up. Awesome. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to click subscribe, click that notification bell. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. Again, the refrigerator is on. The travel trailer is energized. Let's plug in this uh, heat gun. 1500 watts. Let's test it.
Let's see. Here we go. See if any changes. You turn that on. Wow, look at that. Take a look at that. Wow. That voltage dropping so quick. 12.7. But then again, I have refrigerator on. I got this 1500 watts uh, load. 12 amps, actually. Pretty cool. Chat with you guys later. Bye for now. Thanks again for watching. Oh yeah, it's cold. That's awesome. Peace. Later. Take a look. That is awesome. Solar panels, 14.8, 16.6 amp. Battery's currently 13.1, taking in 18.6 amps. Awesome. I forgot to add, microwave is also on, right? Refrigerator is on, microwave is on. You know what, let's power this up. Popcorn. is awesome that is so cool here's my battery bank 140 amp hours from VMAX tanks wired parallel so all positives are connected and all negatives are also connected Here's my battery bank, wired in parallel. All it really means is that you keep the voltage the same, but double, triple, or quadruple your um, amp hours. In my case, I have four of them, 435 amp hours uh, battery, and I wired them in parallel, so I ended up with 12 volts, 140 amp hours. All you really need to do is connect all the positives, right? If you look at right here, it requires six cables, three positives and three ne negative cables right here you can see positive I started on the uh, left hand side positive to positive this is how I wired it and then another cable from the second positive post right here to the third positive and then another cable to your fourth battery positive and then work your way back another cable but this time, your negative cables, it's the same. By the way, when you're wiring parallel, make sure that your cables or wires um, have the same length and, of course, same gauge. So, fourth negative to thirds negative to second and back to first. And that completes your configuration. And that's what is called parallel configuration. Anyway, and of course, when you're charging, I already covered it. It's worth repeating it. If you have an input or charging this uh, battery bank, put your positive on the very first battery. And of course, the negative side of things, plug it at the very end, opposite side, the furthest of the battery configuration. And for the output, I actually did the same thing. That one aught wire right there, it's connected to my pure sign, connected the positive there, and then the negative goes right there. One aught negative feed feeding my uh, pure sign inverter. And that is a parallel configuration. Same thing for the uh, input from the solar panel. 
positive is on the uh, first battery and the uh, negative feeding the control pa uh, controller is actually at the very end the fourth battery right here the negative that's it and of course it's protected by a breaker if I have to do it again I think 150 is too low um, my pure sign is rated for more so I could actually put 200 amps in there uh, but I want to be conservative but I have a feeling I'm probably going to kick myself and throw in a 200. And again, the wires, a uh, set of wires that I installed, it's one aught, it's capable of more. You know, one thing I follow always when wiring, it's okay to gauge up uh, with ter in terms of wiring, but never fuse up. You could always fuse down or break her down, but never fuse up because, of course, you have to fuse based on your equipment and wires. The cutoff for the battery is actually, I'm putting it on the negative side of things. I already have a breaker right here and I'm gonna cut another set of wires, right? So I did the uh, cutoff battery on the negative side of the uh, controller. And the 30 amps breaker right there is from my solar set of solar panels or my solar array. It's right here, 30 amps. That's it, pretty cool setup. 140 amp hours, wired parallel, and uh, yeah, it's excellent, beautiful.